Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. It is still hot, but there's a bit of air today. So we can uh, think of eating something a bit more uh, substantial. Uh, I thought that we should have uh, involtini, which are this kind of rolled meat with uh, some stuffing inside. And uh, in some part of the world, I mean, probably in America, they call rollatini. In Italian, this word does not exist. I don't even know if uh, uh, applied to this kind of involtini, but I found sometimes this word rollatini on, online. Sounds like one of those Italian made up words, rollatini. Yes, but it's not Italian. But anyway, so if anybody knows about Rollatini, please leave a comment and tell us what they are. <laughs> in Voltini is a typical uh, Italian uh, second course, and uh, you need meat, generally beef, and certain feed, depends what you have in the fridge. This is actually a quick recipe. So what we need is beef, and has to be thinly sliced, because it uh, has to cook very quickly. Eh? Then we want some uh, prosciutto, and I got some prosciutto toscano, which is uh, slightly salty, so it's great for this recipe. Then we need a piece of cheese, and I got a scamorza uh, affumicata, smoked scamorza, which is a uh, sort of um, not fresh, but a semi-mature cheese. Not, uh, it's very good because it uh, melts well. Then we need uh, half a glass of white wine, olive oil, as usual, because we need olive oil in many Italian recipes, a bit of butter and sage, fresh sage from the countryside, and uh, salt and pepper to season. We also need a uh, cooking cotton thread. Um, I think I should say as a, a foreign traitor that actually uh, if you can't get scamosa, Yes. Uh, you could use something like Emmental or Eden. Yes, uh, Eden is a good cheese uh, uh, as well. So um, A cheese that melts well. That melts, exactly. So what and a mean? smoked cheese is better though. Smoked cheese gives that like, extra, I'd say, hump. Bit more flavour. <laughs> more flavour, yes. So I think we can get started now. First thing to do, I prepare the filling. So I'm going to cut the cheese. You can see the, the cheese is pretty soft. And now I'm going to prepare the involtini. It's a slice of meat here, I can display it. So I'm going to get some prosciutto, like this. The sage uh, leaf. Now place it here. Then we have a piece of cheese here. Actually, I would put one extra piece of cheese here. Because the whole point is, mm. in English, involtini means wrap. So that's exactly what you're doing. You're wrapping your little parcel. Yes, exactly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move this way, put it on the top, and I'm going to roll it like this. Close it this way, okay, and with the thread, I'm going to secure, seal the parcel. So, make a little knot here. Some people may not know this, um, but uh, Enzo was a sea captain, so uh, knots are <laughs> a big thing in our hands. This is a little parcel and it's ready. We're going to make uh, three, but uh, you can decide as many as you like. I mean, if you're hungry, you can have 20 or whatever you like. Number two. You can make this a dish for winter or summer um, with just a salad for summer, 
Oh, any green um, sour potatoes? Yes, I like also pepper on that. I made a video a few weeks ago. So actually uh, mm -hmm. we could put a link to that. Okay, this is the third one. We do three this time, but uh, again, we can make uh, a lot of them. <laughs> uh, now let's uh, cook them. So to, what we need to do is to put some olive oil on the saucepan here. We have a shallow pan here. So. I add a bit of butter for extra flavor. Okay, now we melt the butter and when the olive oil reaches a good temperature, but not too hot, we can sear the meat. So you just want to warm your olive oil? Okay, now it's steeping, so I want to add the meat. And we want to brown the meat uh, on each side. This is very much um, a dish I remember your mother making. Yes. Yeah. Well, in Naples we have a tradition of uh, Invoking that we don't call them invoking, we call them baracciole, and uh, there are several different things. But in one of the next videos, I will do the traditional one or one, the modern one. <laughs> one thing I very much remember about Enzo's mother is she could create a meal, and you know, everybody would sort of shoot in with friends and dinner too. And she would just create a meal for 10 people Absolutely. without even <laughs> having shot for 10 people. <laughs> Next stage, I'm going to add the wine. I'm going to season it. Salt. And I'm going to add some ground pepper. Now what we do, just put a lid on the top and wait 10 minutes. Okay, I think they're ready. A bit of cheese obviously escapes the rolls, but uh, it's fine because we could eat everything. Heat off and then go to serve them. And we can Impiattiamo. What does it mean here, impiattiamo? Plate up. Ah, okay. See? And uh, we use the, the sauce, in Italian called fondo di cottura, to... Okay, ready to eat. And before serving, I want to remove the string here. Two sage leaves to decorate, and you can try them because they're hot. It's delicious. It's um, a lovely combination. And you, have a, and you have a salad with it. I remember the salad because it's a hot day, and actually, just one of these. And the salad is perfect for supper on a summer evening. So, buon appetito tutti! So, the road is locked for cars. What do we have? Uh, antiquariato and musica. So, antiques and music. Let's explore.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, leave a like and activate the notification bell. You just need a Google account and it's free. It helps our community enormously. Thank you very much.